Hello everyone, it's Monday's assembly again and of course I'm recording it on Friday so it's uh, all feeling a bit weird for me um, but as you can see I'm wearing a scarf again uh, because it is one of our scarf assemblies. Uh, you're probably also going to notice at some point that I've got my wheels of my chair on scarf and I'm myself again. Hopefully that won't happen this week. Um, as well as our scarf assembly this week uh, we've also got our team points coming up towards the end of the assembly and we've also got our shout outs today so we've got as well so lots of things going on in today's assembly and our assembly today is going to be focused on the third letter of the scarf um, uh, topic so s we had earlier last week from uh, mrs bailey it's from for safety c from me last week you had was for caring and a we've got today is for achievement. Now, achievement is, I've got a, a dictionary here, the Oxford English Dictionary, and it says that achievement is something good or worthwhile that you've succeeded in doing. I think that's, a, that's really good, isn't it? So it's something that's good, something that's worthwhile, something that was worth your while doing, that you have succeeded in doing. And I think to say that you've succeeded in doing something feels amazing, it is a real achievement. Now, I'm going to, because I can't really do this, if I was in an assembly hall today, I would be getting two people out to the front and I'd be getting you to do something to show an achievement. But we can't really do that because we're not together as a whole school. So I'm going to ask you to do a bit of a challenge in class today. Now, hopefully I have remembered um, to put in each classroom a bean bag. Over the, over the weekend, and it should be near the front of your classroom, there should be a bean bag. Now, I, what I'd like to do in a minute, I'd like your teacher to pause the assembly, and I'd like her, uh, uh, her to choose two um, children to come up. I'm gonna have a, a bit of a game with the bean bag. So what I'd like you to do is those two people are gonna stand fairly close to each other to start with, um, and they are going to, um, throw the beanbag between each other. If they've managed to both catch it, then both of them are going to take a step back. We're going to continue to throw it and we're going to continue to do that across the classroom until um, hopefully we manage to continue it. But what I'd like everyone to do is to really, um, everyone else in the class, to, to show some uh, appreciation of the achievements they're going to do, to wish them luck, to say, you know, you can do it, um, you know, give, and, and celebrate their success. So maybe some clapping, um, keep, uh, enable them to keep trying. If they don't manage to do it the first time, perhaps they could try it a second time and so on, so that they get a real sense of achievement. I'd like to pause the assembly now and you can try and do that. So I'm going to go quiet for a second. Right, welcome back. Hopefully that happened and everyone showed and achieved really well um, with the beanbag throwing. Um, now today we're going to do a um, one of our stories to do with Harold the giraffe and Kiki the kangaroo and of course Derek the penguin um, as well. So I'm going to read you a story about achievement with them. So it was Monday morning, Harold the giraffe was on his way to school. As usual, he met Kiki the kangaroo at the bottom of his road. You learnt your spellings yet? she asked. She knew Harold was good at spelling, and his group had been given 20 difficult spellings to learn over the weekend. Well, my mum tested me on them over breakfast, said Harold. Um, I got them all right then. I just hope I can remember them when we have the test. You'll be fine, said Kiki. She wasn't as good at spelling as, as uh, Harold was, but she knew she was better at maths and numbers than he was. She really loved to bounce on her trampoline and she discovered that she recited her time for tables while she was bouncing up and down. It helped her to remember them better. Here, actually. Um, Mr. Tompkins has said that uh, that was all very well, but she wasn't allowed to bounce when she did her tables in class. Okay. When they got to school, they met Derek the Penguin in the playground, but he was looking very upset. What's the matter, said Harold and Kiki. It's my swan, it's ruined, said Derek. And he went on to explain. Previous week, they'd been uh, doing origami uh, paper folding in art. Mr. Tonky showed them how to make an origami bow from just a piece of A4 paper. Now, Derek loved to do anything to do with art, and his bow was easily the best in the class. In fact, when he finished it, he, uh, Mr. Tonky said that he, Derek could go round and help other children in the class. Now, Derek loved the origami task so much that he'd found out over the weekend how to make other origami models. 
including a beautiful swan, which he'd carefully put in his bag to show Mr. Tompkins and the rest of the club. School. And on the way to school, Eric looked in his bag to check his reading book. The swan had fallen out and landed into a pool. Ruined. Never mind, Eric, said Harold. I'm sure you'll be able to make another one when you get home. But I was really looking forward to showing everyone my swan today, said Derek. He looked really upset. Nothing that Keith and Harold could say to him. It could cheer him up. After registration, Mr. Tompkins said that Harold's English group was still going to have their test. So we're going to have their test. Harold was nervous, but confident he could remember all his spelling. As Mr. Tompkins read out the first word, Harold spotted Derek on another table, pulling out his origami swan, which was now so soggy it started to fall apart. Derek seemed to have tears welling up in his eyes, and Harold hated seeing Derek upset and felt really sad himself. When he looked up, he saw that Mr. Tompkins was reading the second spelling out loud, and Harold hadn't even written the first word. Word. Harold started to feel really anxious, and because he was anxious, he couldn't remember how to spell the second word. And as he was trying to think of it, Mr. Tompkins read out the third word. It was a disaster. All the spelling seemed to have jumped right out of his head. Later, Playtime, Kiki came bounding over to Harold and said, Guess what? I got 20 out of 20 in my time for tables test. That acting idea really helped. Well, I only got three of my spellings right, I explained to Mr. Tompkins. Um, oh, sorry, I only got three of my spellings right. I explained to Mr. Tompkins I was upset about Derek. And he said not to worry, that he knew I was a good speller. But today was just an off day. I still feel terrible, though, because I spent so long work learning them at the weekend. What about Derek? Is he feeling any better now, said Kiki. Bit. Mr. Tompkins said I could stay in at lunchtime and Derek and I could go on the computer and find out how to build the swan again. So over lunch, Derek and Harold found the site which showed how to build the origami swan. And together they made four swans, one for Derek, one for Harold, one for Kiki and one for Mr. Tompkins. At the end of the day, Mr. Tompkins always spent a few minutes talking about what had been achieved during the day. He said he'd noticed three different achievements that day and was going to give an achievement sticker to Harold, Kiki and Derek for what they'd achieved. Tompkins said, I'm going to give Kiki a sticker for getting all her time's tables right. I'm going to give Derek a sticker for making me such a beautiful origami swan, which I'll take home. I'm going to give Harold a sticker because although he didn't get all his spellings right, he achieved something just as important. He managed to cheer Derek up and help him at lunchtime. And everyone else was outside playing. His achievement was a great friendship and caring. I think that's a real good story because we can make it. We can make achievement in all sorts of different ways. We can, have, you know, we can achieve for our academic success, for our tables, for our spelling, for our writing, for our maths, for our history, for our geography, and so on. But we can also um, have achievements for our personal success, for the things that we do that we know are good things. We don't necessarily need an achievement sticker for those things. It's not just about getting a sticker or, 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 even, or even a well done for doing them. It's about knowing deep inside our heart that we have done the right thing. I'd like to have a think over the course of this week about what you've achieved this week and if you want to think about other people's achievements this week you could put out some achievements that other people have made into the shout out box. It'd be amazing if you could do that. Now before I do the shout outs I'm going to say a prayer and this is a prayer for students so it's all about achievement. Let's pray. Father of light and wisdom Thank you for giving me a mind that can know and a heart that can love. Help me to keep learning every day of my life, no matter what the subject may be. Let me be convinced that all knowledge leads to you and let me know how to find you and love you in all the things you've made. Encourage me when the studies are difficult, when I'm tempted to give up. Enlighten me when my brain is slow and help me to grasp the truth held out to me. Grant me the grace to put my knowledge to use in building the kingdom of God on earth that I may enter the kingdom of God in heaven. Amen. Right, I'm going to open up the shout out box and see if we can do some shout outs this morning. Do it here today. Take them out. Not a lot in here today, actually. Here we go. So my first shout out. Dorothy, Tanishka, Phoebe, and uh, Lemiz for playing with me. Okay, and the next one is for Poppy S for being kind. 
Another one, shout out for Matt in 4S and Connor in 4S for making me happy. That's a lovely one, I like that. That's a bit like uh, Harold in the story. Shout out to my whole table for being such a nice table to work on. That's a 6N one. Uh, Thomas L, because he helped me with a hard question. Leo, for being a great and amazing friend. Shout out to, um, uh, that says, you're my best friend. Um, it doesn't say, I think, well, it's a shout out to Lena, I think. Uh, shout out to JW for playing with me when I've no one to play with. That's another one that's really lovely. Uh, to Austin Holmes in 4N for pushing my limits in the Daily Mile. That's a great one. Really like that. Jasper in 3N for being an amazing friend and keeping me entertained. Jasper's in 4N. So I'm going to say Jasper in 4N. To Ava Watrous for making me happy when I'm down. Chloe for teaching me to do a trick on the bars. Shout out to William since he's a nice person. Doesn't say which William, we've got quite a few Williams in school. So whichever William it is who's a nice person, I imagine it's all of you. Big shout out to you. Shout out to Madison who's a great friend and is always there for you. Next one we've got, there's a lot of shout outs today. I've got another, still got a pile to go. My shout out is to Lucas, Zachary and Remy for being a really fun friend. And Remy is very kind to others. Shout out to year four and six at break time on Friday. It's a pleasure being on duty with them. That's a nice one. Thomas Lee, because he helped me in maths. Edie, sorry, there's a lot, I think this is from Edie. A shout, oh, that's lovely. I'm gonna read it anyway. A shout out to Mr. Harvey for introducing me to St. Nicholas Junior School. That's lovely, thank you. Another one for Mrs. Gibbons and Mrs. Crowder for helping us settle into school. Really lovely. Shout out to Amaya um, and Evie in 4N for cheering me up when I'm sad and for being great friends. Another one, Izzy helped me when I broke my elbow. I think I know who that's from and that's, uh, that's a really lovely one. Um, Thomas Lee for helping me with PE. Another one here for Noah for playing with me. And a shout out to Martha for being there when I need her the most. Oh, that's a really lovely one. Another one for the, uh, for the staff of uh, 3N for being so kind. We've got a few left, but this is really good. This is lovely. They're great today. Um, a shout out to Thomas Lee because he helped me in maths. Big shout out to Mrs. Ings for all her hard work making the flower beds at the front of the school look so attractive for us all. I absolutely agree with that. I think she does an amazing job with that. And so Sushan is for N for being an amazing, helpful and kind friend. He always plays with me every day. A shout out to Zach from 4N for being a good friend. A shout out to Tia for always letting me play with her. A shout out to Mrs. Pierce for being an amazing teacher of 4N. To Sophie Yorston, I think that Sophie's been a great friend this week. And this one just says to 4N, um, a great friend helped me when I was needing help. I didn't even say who it was, but someone in 4N, you know who you are. Shout out to Tia for helping when I fell, uh, fell, uh, fell over. Shout out to Evie Kenyon for making me laugh when I was sad. Three more left. Uh, shout out to Erin in 4N for always helping me when I'm sad. Another one for Mrs. Pierce for being a very nice teacher. Oh, and another one for Mrs. Pierce for putting lots of time and effort into everything. Well done to all of you. Mrs. Pierce, by the sounds of things, who's uh, uh, obviously struck a chord with her class this week, which is lovely. That's fantastic. So we come to our team points now. Um, I've got our four bands for the team points. So this week, in fourth place with 239 team points was the yellow team. So well done, yellows. Uh, in third place with 292 was the green team. Well done, greens. We were left for the third week in a row, I think, with, with red and blue. So one of these teams got 312 team points and the other one got 349. So our winning team this week 349 team points was 
red team. Congratulations, Reds. Well done. So I'm going to put this on here and put it back in the hall in a second. Well done, red team. Hope you've uh, had a lovely weekend this weekend, and I hope you're looking forward to your week in school. We're certainly looking forward to, have you, uh, forward to having you here. Um, have a great week. Bye, everyone.